Hello students, I am Sujata Pounikar from Department of Electrical Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today's discussion will be on applications of insulating material in electrical devices and machines. Contents of the session are insulating materials used for power and distribution transformer, rotating machines, capacitors, electrical cables, line insulators and switch gear. So today we are going to see applications of different type of insulating materials for various devices. Let's see different insulating materials. Mica, rubber, glass, paper, synthetic resin, porcelain, cotton, cellular, mineral oil, etc. When we want to use insulating materials for different machines or appliances, it is said that life of electrical machine directly depends on life of insulation. So what are the characteristics of good insulating material? Large insulation resistance, high dielectric strength, uniform viscosity, it should have uniform throughout so that electrical losses as low as possible and electrical stresses will be least thermal expansion when exposed to arcing should be non-ignitable insulating material should be resistant to oil liquids gas fumes acids and alkali they should not deteriorating effect on the material in contact with it Insulating materials should have low dissipation factor or loss tangent time delta. Insulating materials should have high mechanical strength, high thermal conductivity, low permittivity and high thermal strength. They should be free from gaseous insulation to avoid discharges mm -hmm. and they should be homogeneous to avoid local stress concentration. They should be resistant to thermal and chemical deterioration. In electrical devices, there will be always mechanical, thermal, electrical, chemical and environmental changes are there. They may increase stress and aging. Applications of paper. So paper press board are used as a solid insulating material. Paper press board mica they are generally used in all the electrical appliances. And basic applications are cable, capacitor, transformer, and rotating machine. The paper and press boards are used for winding and cable conductor insulation. Primary dielectrics in capacitor are paper. They can be used with the bi uh, mica backing insulation. Applications of liquid insulating material. Generally, mineral oil or transformer insulating oil serves as the most popular liquid insulation for electrical equipment such as transformer, capacitor, switch gear, etc. Applications of dielectric gases or insulating gases. They are used in transformer, radar waveguide, circuit breaker, switch gear, high voltage switching. They can be used as a coolant and they are usually used in the high voltage applications. Let's take first example that is transformer insulation. Transformer insulation has to play a number of roles apart from insulation. Oil, which is used as a transformer oil or mineral oil or crude oil, it is used as an insulation or coolant. Oil cools transformer as well as providing insulation. Press board and plywood have to provide mechanical strength and forming cooling ducts for oil circulation. Paper provides conductor insulation and assembly is complex and design stresses are low in many non-uniform field location. Here we can see transformer winding and core assembly with all the insulation layers is 
immersed in a insulation oil or transformer oil it is used as a coolant and the insulator we can see bushings as a insulator insulating material used in power and distribution transformer so what are the desired properties of insulating material used in the transformer they should have good electrical properties to withstand the power frequency voltages and impulse over voltage good mechanical properties to withstand fabrication and handling during manufacture and electromagnetic forces during overload short circuit and normal operating condition insulating material should have good thermal stability and low aging effect the insulating materials for different parts of the transformer is are listed below so in transformer basically there are two parts one is the core that is magnetic path and second is the winding so windings are having coils turns conductors and ground clearance low voltage coil to ground and high voltage coil to low voltage coil what are the insulation used between lv and hv and lv and ground those are radial spacers tube made up of press board paper glass fabric paper fill plastic laminates or porcelain between one turn to other turn what is the insulation used between two conducting parts that is turn to turn that is organic enamel papers and glass tips layer of winding or coil to coil insulation is provided by craft paper glass fabric press board and varnish paper insulation oil used in the transformer generally it is called as mineral oil and the different gases which can be used in a transformer are air and nitrogen bushings are generally made up of porcelain insulating materials used in the rotating machine rotating machines are nothing but the generator and motor they always have by the construction two parts that is one is stator and the other one is rotor and on the either on stator or rotor there will be winding to carry current or produce emf and the other part will have poles or magnetic path for choosing an insulating material for rotating machine proper thought is to be given with respect to temperature classification in the last video we have seen insulating material has classification based on the state that is solid liquid gases and based on the temperature class so that limit of the temperature is given by the manufacturer and that class the materials must have good mechanical characteristics and high dielectric strength for reliable operation of the machine they should withstand thermal stresses and mechanical vibration here we can see conductors which are separated by paper insulation they are enameled varnished and paper insulation is used here we can see insulation which is provided between phases r phase and y phase y phase and b phase etc and in the third figure we can see stator winding with the dielectric insulation so these are the different type of insulation used for the winding this is one more view for the rotating machine as i have told you there is insulation between hv that is high voltage winding and low voltage winding insulation between lv and ground so that is there and here this is the view or cross sectional view of the motor they have shown that north pole south pole north pole so that is the magnetic system which is provided rotating magnetic field and these are the slots which are used for the conductor mounting so inside that slot there will be conductor then insulation layer and then winding terminals will be brought out insulation between coils and rotor body is resin bonded glass fiber so coils and the rotor body 
that is separated by the insulation which is made up of glass fiber or resin coils are often prefabricated and heat consolidated the insulating materials used for the conductor in the rotating machine are so for conductor enamel cotton covering or combination of both class a fiberglass coated with organic varnish and class b fiberglass coated with silicon varnish both can be used for the conductor so all the conductors are having covering of enamel in slot the conductor is placed in a slot so inside the slot liner what insulation material is used paper mica fiberglass cotton tape synthetic resin fabric tapes are used as a binders for general finishing for every uh, providing insulation layer what is the purpose to separate to conducting path otherwise there will be fault short circuit so any harmful condition should not occur we are providing insulation so that conducting path will not come in contact with other conducting path after winding the windings the insulations are impregnated with thermosetting synthetic organic varnish or silicon varnish for high voltage generator the conductor or turn insulation is usually mica tape the ground insulation of the coil consists of mica flex bounded by resins now we have seen insulators used for the transformer then insulating materials used for the rotating machine now it will be followed by insulating materials used in capacitor capacitor is made up of conducting plates and a dielectric the dielectric may be air solid insulating material or liquid depending upon the duty of the capacitor capacitors are used in electrical utilities and in different electronic circuit power capacitor uses tissue power or polypropylene film as a dielectric so dielectric is serving both the purposes one to store the charge and second as a insulation Pro polypropylene is a good choice this insulation system is impregnated with either mineral oil or synthetic liquid due to impregnation process insulation breakdown strength will increase paper capacitors uses paper with impregnates like castor oil synthetic oil mineral oil etc electrolytic capacitor uses ceram all above insulation with aluminum and tantalum ceramic capacitors with variety of ceramic bodies and film dielectric capacitors use polystyrene teflon and polyethylene as a insulator these are the different capacitors which are shown like electrolytic capacitor ceramic capacitor tantalum capacitor and this is the cross sectional view of capacitor what is the purpose of insulating material over there two metallic plates or the foils are separated by the dielectric and this is also the cross section which will show paper is used as a spacer rubber sealing is used as a insulation sleeves are insulated next one is insulating material used in the cables as we know overhead conductors are there to transmit the power similarly in the distribution area either overhead conductors or cables are used for the distribution of supply the insulating materials used for cable must have low discharge current low dissipation factor and they should be chemically stable the materials generally use impregnated paper rubber compressed air or mineral oil in the present days cross link polyethylene cable called as xlp cables are widely used and they are manufactured from 11 kv to 66 kv rating this polyethylene has outstanding dielectrical properties and becomes resistant to extremes of temperature more mechanically strong and resistance to environmental stress or cracking 
सो इन कंपेयर टू पेपर इंसुलेटेड केबल एक्सेल पी केबल हैज मेनी एडवांटेजेस एंड इनहेरेंट मॉइस्चर रेजिस्टेंस हाई फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी एंड सिंपल एक्सेसरीज एंड स्मॉलर साइज दीज आर द इंसुलेटिंग मटीरियल्स विच आर यूज फॉर द केबल्स लिक्विड्स विच आर यूज फॉर द इम्प्रेग्नेशन टू इंक्रीज द डाइलेक्ट्रिक प्रॉपर्टीज और इंसुलेटिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑइल फिल्ड केबल्स आर ऑल्सो यूज द लिक्विड एक्ट एज अ डाइलेक्ट्रिक एंड कूलेंट बोथ द गैस फिल्ड केबल यूज इज जनरली सल्फर हेक्सा फ्लोराइड दैट इज एस एफ सिक्स गैस एज अ इंसुलेटर This is a cross-sectional view to see where is the insulating layer in the cable. So conductors are there, then conductor screen is there. After that, XLP insulation layer is there, then insulation screen is there. It is followed by semiconducting tape and then seamless aluminium sheet. And again, their layer is PVC outer sheet. So this is the use of insulating material so that leakage current will not come outside or nobody will be in contact with the leakage current insulating materials used in the line insulators as we know that power is transmitted from the generating station to distribution station with the transformer assembly step up transformer step down transformer switch gears and towers so towers are there to support the transmission line and insulators are used on the towers to provide mechanical strength and electrical protection so mechanical strength for the conductor and electrical protection that is the insulation layer between high voltage high current carrying transmission line and the ground what are the materials which are used for the line insulators those are porcelain glass insulator composite insulator etc so this is a schematic we can see here these in the first figure there is porcelain insulator in the middle one there are different types of insulator like pin insulator suspension insulator etc the third figure shows glass insulator and in the bottom one first figure it is shown the tower structure which is holding transmission lines and to give mechanical support and electrical protection these insulators are used for second this third one fourth one fifth and sixth so these are the insulator which will provide insulation between this high voltage line and the tower or the support structure which is on the ground insulating materials used in the switch gear so switch gear is used our circuit breaker is used to make the circuit in the normal condition and break the circuit in the abnormal faulty or short circuit condition so when uh, circuit breaker close it should be an ideal conductor and when circuit breaker is open it should be like either um, ideal insulator so when open on command it should be able to close even on to short circuit without damaging the contacts so there are different types of circuit breaker like oil filled circuit breaker air blast circuit breaker SF6 circuit breaker vacuum circuit breaker so that is used in the circuit breakers so it will extinguish the arc and absorb the electrons here it is a cross sectional view of circuit breaker which is showing conductor bushing fixed contact and the moving contact and as the contacts will open there will be formation of arc between these two and this arc should be quenched by the dielectric material insulating material used in the electronic equipment the insulating material for most of the electronic equipment should have high electrical strength mechanical strength and arc resistance and thermal stability in some cases it should have high moisture resistance and light weight for most of the electronic equipment synthetic resins are used source for all this presentation is shown over here 
थैंक यू थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स